Good morning, good morning everybody. We are taking the suitcase back to the van and getting ready to uh, leave Fargo here in a minute or two. Yeah. The last stop pretty much. Well, maybe not the last stop, but uh, the last hotel hopefully. Before we get home, throw this back in here. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that's a gorgeous day out here today. It's a little cold, but hey, it's almost to Canada, right? So what can you expect? Got my passports and stuff like that in here, so can't forget that before we get to the border, right? You gotta have that. Just gonna put it right here so that way. They're nice and easy to get to when we are at the border, you know. Ah, here's the sun, hey? Ah, you brought your suitcase too? Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll go back and get the last little bit and then we'll uh, make our way home. We are going to go to a Fly and J. We are in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yeah. We gotta fill up the car, and plus we want to fill ourselves up too. With some good breakfast. Yeah, with some good breakfast, that's right. Turn left on South 42nd Street. Yep. And then we wanna go do a little bit of shopping yet. Yeah. Haven't done that in a long time. Here we are. I'm gonna go fuel the car up. I'm just gonna go to the far fuel station right here. Yeah. Anyways, we'll go fuel the car. Drive point three miles. It's breakfast time, right? Have a look at that. I got like a Mexican style omelet. What do you got? I got eggs. You got eggs? And all the really? other things. Oh really? A whole bunch of other things and some eggs. Wow. What's my sweetheart got? She's got a steak, eh? Steak and eggs. Yeah. Okay, I got That's onions. good to eat. Well guys, we are at Columbia Mall. We're gonna do some shopping. We are back in Manitoba. Yes, sorry Bob. We made it across the border, no problemo. Yep. You can also hear that on the car, but hitting all the bumps and all that uh, rough. The roads are up here in Canada compared to the United States. Yeah, it's a terrible stretch of highway right here. Usually in the van you don't see it too much because it rides softer, but in a truck you can definitely see it. But anyways. We are only about 45 minutes from home, sweet home. Yeah, and then we just gotta get ready and go to Winnipeg. <laughs> Already got a phone call from dispatch to her there asking if I wanted to go today. I guess they're busy, but I turned it down. I just figured, I, you know, I've been driving a couple of hours today. And from the whole trip, I need a good night's sleep before I can go. That's what I told him. I need a good night's sleep. Yep. And we stopped in there at the duty free. Got us uh, two cases of beer. Yeah, normally I don't talk about beer very much, but. I know in the United States there at the duty free it's way cheaper than in Canada. In Canada you pay about $42 for a case of beer of 20, 24 cans of beer. Up here in the United States we paid 14 bucks. 28 bucks for two cases of beer. Which would have cost us about 80 probably 84 bucks for two cases of beer up here in Canada 
That's just a huge difference. Yep. And I'm also kind of curious to see if my uh, truck uh, batteries will have would stand the whole week without charging. Kind of curious of that. My APU unit died on me the last day I was coming home there overnight. It died on me, so kind of curious to see my batteries. I turned everything off that I possibly could turn off. So hopefully my batteries are strong enough to start the truck. If not, well, we'll have to see what we can do. We might just have to see what we can do, that's right. Anyways, we're just about to hit Morris here. Another couple of kilometers and we'll be in Morris, Manitoba. What a gorgeous day to be out here driving though. Not much wind. Nice and sunny. Clear skies. You can't ask for a better day than this. It's not super hot. It's not cold. Just perfect. Nice and comfortable. We are invited to, uh, to Winnipeg to our friend's place for dinner tonight. So we uh, gotta go to Winnipeg pick up our daughter anyway, so we'll probably just go over to our friend's place and uh, go for dinner over there, you know. And we'll see what they got for me for tomorrow as far as uh, load goes. See if we get a load tomorrow. If we do, we'll be happy. Apparently they're busy in Manitoba, so otherwise they would have never called me, I'm pretty sure of that. Because Penners is not the type of company that will actually call you. Normally they will never call you. And I did tell them I wanted to go tomorrow. Not today, but I figured since they're busy, they just figured they, I guess they got a load to move and they gotta find somebody to do it. Yeah, well. In 1.7 kilometers, turn right on 23. Figured since I've been already invited to Winnipeg to our friend's place and we gotta go pick up our daughter anyways, I would just turn it down. I don't really like to do that too much, but if it would have been a really nice long trip, I probably wouldn't have done it, but it wasn't that much of a, a long trip, it was just going to Wisconsin, so I figured I asked him first before I turn it down. If it would have been a nice long trip, like a 15, 16, 1700 mile trip, I wouldn't have turned it down, but it was only like 700 mile trip, so I said, nah, not really interested in doing that. Plus, I don't really like leaving at like 6 at night six in the evening where are you gonna go you know I mean and then they wanted me to be in Wisconsin tomorrow for six o'clock in the evening so it didn't really make sense to me anyways but here we are we gotta go turn right up here to highway 23 to go over to highway 59 and go over to 52 and then we are on our home stretch 72 kilometers to go so let's get out of here turn right on 23 yeah, looks like a steve livestock truck oh, all kinds of trucks up here today drive 29 kilometers on 23 all right we haven't figured out a name for this garmin yet but Maybe you guys can help us. <laughs> Maybe we'll call it piece of junk. Because <laughs> that's what it really is. I don't really like this Garmin GPS. That seems to take forever to calculate a route. Especially if it's a little longer distance, you know. Oh well. Might switch back to the Tom Tom. <laughs> yeah. We had a TomTom -tom before and we kind of like that GPS better. For in the car at least. 
Anyways, we got a little bit of construction going on up here, it looks like. So we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Here we are at Panners. Yes, sir, we, Bob, we are. Went and looked at the truck, checked everything out. She fired up right away. I was a bit afraid that my batteries might be dead, but like I said, I tried to make sure that I shut everything off. But what I also did while I was over in uh, Seattle is I told you guys that I was going to get new stripes put on, right? No decos. Well, have a look at it. Here we are. This, these are brand spanking new stripes that they got on here. No, it looks really nice up here. Before they were all beat up over here and oh yeah. No, it looks really, really nice. You see the name? I showed you before it was peeling off and stuff really nicely put on here now a few bob bobbles here and there but other than that it looks really really nice I did lock the door already I had it running for a little bit I figured I shut it off so that way you guys could hear me better and now we also got the star in here and we got the maple leaf in here look at that Is that cool I think so Looking pretty good. Oh yeah, we got the VIN number on here now, which we didn't have before. We did not have the VIN number on there. Yeah. You wanna have a look at it? Yeah. Yeah. So you know we got the VIN number on here. Uh huh. We got the star. And we got the maple leaf on here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was that. already last year. Uh huh. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Let's get out of here then and go to Winnipeg and pick up our daughter. And then we're going straight to our friend's place to uh, have a nice evening with. Yeah, I think they did an awesome job on it, eh? I think they did. Yeah, I think they did a really good job on it. See, now it's not chipped off anymore like it was before. Yeah. Like nice and clean. Oh yeah, looks really nice. I think they did a good job on it, eh? But also, you guys that are new to, uh, new to my channel, this is my moose bumper. I got some Rule rule lights up here. Two of them. Yep. I haven't washed the truck since my last trip, but uh, we're going to get around to doing that once we get back out again. But uh, anyways, we got to get out of here and pick up our daughter in Winnipeg, so we'll go ahead and do that. Well, yeah, guys, we are here at the place where we go pick up our daughter. So we'll go inside and see how she, how excited she's gonna be. I think she's gonna be really excited. So we'll see you inside. Hello, Jesse. We're gonna start our feeder. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 So Who's here? Huh? Yeah. Who's here? <laughs> she was the one Who's here? Saturday Who's here? Morning. Huh? She Where's was here? kind of huh? crying Jessie? a little bit, but we oh, you missed it. Uh-uh. Huh? Uh, what? Maybe she uh, was going uh, for the rest of the day. Do you need a hug? Huh? Oh. Uh, no. What? Huh? How's your mom doing? Huh? Oh. You're happy? Huh? Huh? What? You're so excited? Huh? There's your brother? Huh? Yeah? There's your brother? Yeah. You're excited, eh? Uh, yeah. They were told to give it to you. I'm not sure who that is. I don't know what We had a awesome time at our friend's place. And we are back home now. So I just finished, uh, figured I would finish the uh, the show and uh, tell you all about it. What happened is we had a nice barbecue at our friend's place. Thank you guys for having us over and uh, giving us a good time. And uh, we are gonna go out again tomorrow morning on the load. And so we gotta go to bed. So let's go to bed and we will be sure to see you again tomorrow. Every single one of you that watches, any of us. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. What do
this behind me, that day is gonna come.